So far, we've gone through and taken a look at this view where all of the issues are listed and color coded for us. And we've also taken a look at the settings to understand how we can control the categorization and also the individual settings. What we want to do now is look in here at this ability to reformat. Let's hop in and take a look. I think it's fair to say that in terms of brand compliance, formatting inconsistencies can be a really big issue with presentations. If we go into this reformat section here, we're going to find that we can get a really full consolidated list of all of the issues related to formatting and fix them really quickly in bulk. Right off the bat, we can see that this first category here is text colors. We can learn two things just by glancing at this section. Number one, Macabacus has detected a total of seven text colors in this presentation. The other thing that we can do is we can look at these little radio buttons and learn a lot about the presentation. For instance, this first one is filled in. That means that this is a color which is actually in our color palette. But the other ones, the other six that are empty, means that all of these RGB codes are not even inside of our color palette. So we essentially have these six issues to take care of. Think you're going to be amazed at how fast it is for us to fix these issues. Let's go down to this one and open it up just by clicking on this down arrow. All we're going to do now is select a color that we want to replace this one. For instance, let's select this one that's on the color palette. So that's now been fixed and we can see now it conforms with our color palette. We could also fix the one above. Maybe we want a slightly different blue for this one. Now this one also conforms with the color palette. Another really powerful feature within this tool is that we can physically see where things are located. Let's take a look up here and expand this particular section. If we click on these elements like this, we can actually see physically where they're located. In this case, it looks like these could all be just black. So let's click on this section and change them to black on our color palette, and that's been fixed. Let's take a look at what's happening up here with this section. We open it up, we start to click on the elements, and again, it looks like these could be black. So we could just go up and change the entire section there to black. Similarly for the section above, these are all elements which just could simply be in black font. So we're going to switch those over and we've got a completely cleaned up presentation now with only four different text colors. All of them are conforming to our color palette. This is an incredibly powerful tool. Just to demonstrate a few more things, we can see down here that most of the words that Macabacus has found are using Calibri font which is the font that we're aiming for. But a couple have come up here with Georgia and also Arial. So fast to switch them. We just click this little down arrow, click Calibri. And then on Arial, we click Calibri as well. And we've cleaned these up and made them all consistent. This tool works in a very similar fashion here for font styles, where we see the font type and the sizes, and we could easily click all of these down arrows and clean these up. We can also see down below the fill colors and we can tell by whether or not the radio button is filled or empty as to whether or not these are matching our color palette. It would also be just as quick for us to clean these up. It's really easy to see why this proofing tool is one of the most powerful and efficient features that's available within PowerPoint for Macabacus. One thing to keep in mind is that in order for this tool to work properly, you need to have a properly configured PowerPoint template available so that the proofing tool can compare over to it. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. We'll see you in the next one. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.